Hey there everyone, this is Nathan with Minnesota Mobile Guy. I have with me here today a T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S6 that I have that I've been working on here. We will go ahead and pop into the phone information here and show you the details. So this one does pull up as a T-Mobile version, which is the G920T. There you see the Galaxy S6. Now, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you might have noticed that T-Mobile has recently instituted a new process as far as unlocking their phones to be able to use with a different provider. Now, traditionally, when you take a phone and put a different SIM card in, as I'm about to do here with a SIM from T-Mobile, or I'm sorry, from AT&T that I have, might be a little hard to see there, with the focus, but that is an AT&T SIM that I'm gonna be putting in. They've instituted a new unlock process, like I said, to where the phone does not prompt for an unlock code anymore when you put a different SIM card in. Instead, they preload one of their own apps onto the phone that facilitates the unlocking of the device. So in other words, the unlock request, the whole process, everything has to go directly through them. And that can obviously be a problem for someone if you've maybe purchased the phone for use in another country or you're not a T-Mobile customer and can't go through them to unlock, etc. But there are always ways around such things, as we'll be able to see here. So, now that the phone has been restarted with the AT&T SIM in, we do have a notification that says invalid SIM card and says it's network locked. So after we unlock the phone from the lock screen, it says that the phone can be unlocked, but it refers us to use that device unlock app that comes installed on the phone. If we jump into the phone apps, under the T-Mobile section, we'll be able to see it there. So that is the one that says device unlock there. We're gonna go ahead and open that up actually. And it says that your device is network lock, which will prevent it from working with other carriers and to contact T-Mobile to have it done, blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. We're gonna connect to server message while it gets things prepared. And then you have two options here, a permanent unlock or a temporary unlock. Now, if the phone is fully paid off through T-Mobile, not under contract, you're an active customer of theirs, et cetera, et cetera, of course they will unlock it for you. But like I said, that sometimes prevents a problem if you're someone in another country or not a T-Mobile customer. But there are ways to get that done. And this is one that I've actually modified on the back end to be able to do the unlock without going through T-Mobile. So now, when we press the permanent unlock option, we'll get a message that says requesting the unlock. And we'll give it a second to do its thing here. And there we go. Unlock approved, mobile device is permanently unlocked. I know it says failed up at the top. It always says that for some reason, it's not actually true. The, de the device actually does get unlocked. So we'll go ahead and restart it here with the AT&T SIM in there, and we'll be able to see that it does now accept it without that error. All right, here it comes to give it just another second or two. All right, there we go. So now we can see on the lock screen that we do not have that invalid SIM card message up at the top in the network status. It just says searching. Now this AT&T SIM particularly is not an active one, so we won't actually be able to register and make calls, etc. But we can now see that the phone is unlocked because it does not give us that message. And then also when we swipe on the unlock screen, it goes right to the home screen, bypassing that message about the phone being locked. So the phone is now permanently unlocked officially through T-Mobile, no software hacks or modifications needed. So you can factory reset and update and all those kinds of things as much as you want. And the phone will always be permanently unlocked. 
So if you're a customer in another country who would like to get the phone unlocked for local use, or if you are someone in the US who purchased it and you're not a T-Mobile customer and would like it unlocked to use on AT&T or another carrier, go ahead and contact me. All the details will be in the video description. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, también hablo español, así que no duden en contactarse conmigo. Also, make sure you guys check out all the other videos on my channel. I unlock a lot of different model phones and a whole bunch of other services, so I'm sure you'll find something that interests you there. And make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there. I'm always throwing up new videos, so make sure you're notified of those. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.